So I was uh, talking to this guy the other day. Um, this guy's a contractor, and he was really, really, uh, how do I say it? He knew a lot about these lead generation companies, and uh, he was talking about Angie Leads or Angie Ads. He used to be Home Advisor and Angie's List. Um, everybody pretty much has heard of Home Advisor before, and I've done a bunch of videos on these companies. Um, but he said something that that I'd never heard before, and I didn't think much of it at the time. Uh, but all this recession stuff and you know economic turmoil stuff in the news has got me thinking. You know, we know that the middle class is shrinking. We know that small businesses have really struggled over the last few years with all the COVID rules and lockdowns and things like that. And uh, people that I, I follow and that I trust as sources of information, a lot of them are saying that the, the middle class is being squeezed out and that a lot of small businesses are going to go away. Like, and by a lot, like, I mean the majority of them. And when I think about this in relation to residential construction, I always think like, you know, it's such a fragmented industry. I don't see how like a big corporation, like a national corporation could, could manage working on all the homes everywhere. You know, home residential construction is such a localized thing. You've got contractors in every single neighborhood across the country, and they're the ones maintaining homes, building them, remodeling them. And so I, I just thought, you know, I don't really see how how a big corporation could just come in and, and replace all of those contractors. But then, you know, I'm driving just now, and I had this thought. Like, I remembered this phone call I had with this guy. And what he told me was that it's a few years down the line, it's Angie or Home Advisor's goal is to actually provide the services. So right now these companies, you know, they're they're trying to monopolize the internet and get all these leads and sell them to contractors. But the next step of the evolution is that they're actually going to be the general contractor and they're actually going to sub out the work or maybe they'll even hire employees and have them doing it. And that's when it all kind of came together for me is how could a national company handle such a fragmented industry? Well, Angie Leeds and, and all the companies that they're buying up right now, that's how. You know, if they have a means of acquiring all the jobs and having a good foothold on the market that way, and you time that, you know, you, you have that at the same time that contractors are going out of business, well, the hole in the market is going to have to be filled by somebody. And if these small businesses can't afford to stay in business, then it's going to be those big companies that, you know, get a lot of money from the government and just have a lot more money and ability to borrow money in general, it's gonna be them that, that could possibly fill that hole. So kind of interesting. I've never been a fan of these companies, uh, but this makes me like them even less. You know, we need local businesses, we need small businesses. Uh, we have to protect what we have. And if we're constantly feeding the beast, then we're gonna eventually be feeding the beast that eats our family.